the cakes are baked so I can show you uh, the whole process. So here is my recipe. We're gonna do um, one box cake, one cup of water. This is for vanilla or a white cake. One cup of water, three eggs, one teaspoon vanilla. Yeah, he just does not care. <laughs> two tablespoons of applesauce, and this says no sugar added right here. And I do like the Market Pantry brand because um, I think it has more texture in it and it's not so like, uh, I don't know, liquidy as the other ones. Yeah, he is a big nerd. <laughs> um, and then two tablespoons also of sour cream here. Um, so that's just with any light color, like strawberry, vanilla, um, yes, exactly, more pulp. So that's why I like this brand. Um, so then if you're going to do chocolate, we're going to switch this out. And you're going to do chocolate and you're going to do one cup of coffee. I use the K-Cups. The applesauce, it's like um, in my Target, it's um, by the pickles, which is weird. So... Yes, you can just leave your cake in a plastic bag. Um, so for chocolate, I replace a half a cup of water with a half a cup of coffee. This is the best kind of coffee ever. So you're going to take one half cup of water out and add one half cup of coffee in. So one cup liquid, one teaspoon, I will, I will mention why I don't use frosting, one teaspoon vanilla, two tablespoons of applesauce, two tablespoons of sour cream, three eggs and your mix. You can use this with any brand of cake mix, but I like to use this one. Tonight I made vanilla and chocolate, which is why I'm showing you vanilla and chocolate, um, the different flavors, and a lot of people have been asking for my recipe, so I thought since I'm baking tonight, um, yes, it's still on YouTube, the rolling video. <laughs> Excuse me. So I thought since I was baking tonight, I'd go over the whole um, cake making process. Um, so did everybody get the recipe? Because I have the cakes baked and I'm going to put them in the mixer. No oil, uh, no frosting, and I don't use frosting because you'll, you, you guys can see once I start, I use the coffee and the chocolate because it brings out the flavor in the, um, in the chocolate. You, it doesn't taste like coffee, it just intensifies that chocolate flavor. Oh, so, um, I don't use frosting because by the end of the, by the time you bake it, this recipe is so moist you don't need it. And it just makes the frosting just, um, yes, yes, yeah. But some, somebody else before you, Artsy Edibles, was asking why I don't use frosting. Um, yes, it's already moist enough that you don't need the frosting. But like I said, if you, if you want to use it, if you think it adds to your flavor, Go ahead and do that. I know some people like to add ganache or fudge or different kinds of frosting. So here's my cake, my vanilla cake that's baked. This is my cake pop recipe, yes. Not my scratch cake recipe. Um, I use decaf right now because I don't usually drink decaf and I don't want to waste it. And decaf's probably better if the kids are having the thing, the cake pops. <clears throat> so yes, the edges. Let me talk about that. I don't use frosting now. Um, so when I put my cake mix into the pan, I use this foil. And because of the way that I make my cakes with the sour cream and the applesauce, I don't get crusty sides. So you can see they're pretty nice and white. And this has been cooling. It's still a little bit warm. And so you guys can see that I can just, I have washed my hands recently flip it over and take the whole thing out, right? So I have the whole cake in my hands right now. Let me flip that back over. I don't butter the foil, nothing. This recipe is so great, you don't need any of that. So let me take this attachment off and I am going to start. I bake it for um, 28 minutes at 350. Yes, the, the no oil eliminates the yellow sticks. 350, 
at 20 for 28 minutes. 350 degrees for 28 minutes. If you don't have a mixer, just stick it right in the bag and mix it with the bag, which is also fine. So I'm just throwing it in here. Can you guys still see what I'm doing? I can't see your comments, so. <laughs> 325 for 40 minutes, that would probably work too. So now you can see I'm, I can use this whole cake. I don't have to throw any edges out or any crust or anything. I'm just using this whole cake. Okay, it's gonna get loud. I'm just doing this to make sure it doesn't all pop out of the thing. My bowl is like a standard what four quart I think this one is I have a six quart one that I used to that's red um, but I use this one for the cakes how many cake pops can you get this is why I do it this way because I can get a full mm, almost three dozen out of this almost three dozen you can use definitely use a hand mixer like one of the one the trigger mixers with the two sticks on them you can do that too let me get you guys close up really quick okay so at this point 36 36 I do not have leftovers baby <laughs> I never have leftovers I don't make any extras I make just enough for what I need so this week I have um, six dozen cake pops and a cake four dozen cupcakes and two dozen Oreos this is all for one order. So I'm making two cakes. The food processor will work too, yeah. yeah. So this way you can use the whole cake and this will get you more cake pops. So some people <clears throat> like to mix it until, we've had a lot of talks about this lately on the, on the Facebook groups, like to mix it until it's like a thicker dough. If you like that consistency, keep going, keep mixing. I like mine to have a little bit more texture and before I took a bite out of one, I still have it. And I like mine to have some still cake texture. See how they're still like cakey, that? Can you freeze the dough? Yeah, you can freeze it. So I took a bite, I'm sorry if that looks gross, but I just wanted you guys to see the texture of that. You can still see that there's crumbs in there right okay <clears throat> so if you want yours to be more cake like or more <clears throat> texture I have a tickle on my throat I'm sorry there's a big fire here so the air is kind of not good um, stop here if you want it to be more doughy keep going and it will turn into a thick dough but I'm gonna stop here because I like texture because once you like roll it and all that stuff oh thanks I love your balls too Nicole. Nicole's balls are great. <laughs> so um, let me set this down again because I'm going to need my my two hands. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to put this. <clears throat> Here's my bag. I'm going to put the cake in the bag and I have turn this bag, again, $90 is a great price. I'm turning this bag inside out, okay? Strawberry cake box or vanilla? I use, I don't like to use strawberry cake pops. If I do, I use the strawberry box, but maybe I would like it more if I used strawberry with strawberry preserves. So I'm just gonna like push this down, right? Can you guys kind of see what I'm doing? I'm gonna just push it down, kind of get it in the ball in the bottom of the cake bowl. I'm gonna try to pick up as much of this as I can in one scoop so I don't have to, because if you try to dump it, it's gonna get crumbs everywhere. So you can get most of it in the bag just like that. And I've turned it right side out, so I kind of used this as a glove and grabbed it and turned it right side out. <clears throat> I'm gonna set this here try to dump the rest of this because I don't want to lose anything. Let me get my handy dandy. 
this thing or that one. <laughs> you can get those at Target. Okay, so I'm just gonna scrape the rest of this out because it's kind of stuck to the bottom. And then I'm dumping it in the bag. Sorry if my arm's in the way. Now all the cake is gone out of there. There's your cake mix. See, it's nice and crumbly. So let me pull this camera back so you guys can see now what I'm going to do with it. Okay, so I'm just kind of like push it in so it's all kind of in a solid thing but I'm not like squishing it so it's changing texture I'm just pushing it down it was not completely cool it was um, warm it was warm I do chill it but I'm gonna actually um, scoop and roll these tonight so I'm only gonna chill it for like an hour so now it's kind of into more dough right so there's still a lot of texture in there and then you're going to kind of roll it so there's no air seal your bag up i usually use the zipper bags but i bought these on accident so there we go i'm going to stick that in the fridge you can chill it for however long you need if you need to use red velvet do the same as chocolate add the coffee, the half cup of coffee. So there's my vanilla. And then I'm going to have to clean my bowl so I can do the chocolate on next, but I'll show you the chocolate cake. So I can just pull these sides right off. There's my chocolate cake. I'm going to flip it over. And then that's the inside right there. Pretty yummy. So, okay, so I'm using a two uh, medium cookie scoop from OXO. And I just got these out of the mixer, so I'm not sure. Okay, so you can see that it's still really crumbly, right? So, I'm just going to squeeze it in my hand. This is why I like to keep it a crumble texture because you're already going to squeeze it and you've added so much moisture that by the time you get to the end, you still want it to have some kind of texture in there. So I'm going to smash it. one's not rolling very well because I didn't chill it but let me see if I can get it to roll that's better <laughs> a little better it's hard to roll ones when they just come out of the thing so there's still a little crack in there but usually putting it in the fridge will cake with no I've never Done it with cake with no egg. I will get this to roll perfectly. Maybe. That's better. Thank you for joining in. All right, guys, I will talk to you later. Enjoy your nights. I'll be rolling cake pops. Tell me what needs me. Um, and I'll see you next time. Good night, guys. Love you guys, too. Bye-bye.